This is Freddy, Freddy Morales. Um, today I want to talk about talk about um, the, the fight of Victor Ortiz against uh, against Luis Colazo. Um, yesterday I was tuning in about that fight. Victor Ortiz, he was coming up of, of, of a nasty loss against Josecito Lopez. Josecito Lopez broke his jaw. So uh, this guy had to have this comeback win. So um, yesterday I was watching this fight against Luis Colazo. Luis Colazo, the same thing. He has five defeats. He has around 34 wins with uh, 20 something knockouts. I believe, uh, let's see, 17 knockouts. Thing is this, Luis Colazo and Victor Ortiz, they needed a, 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 a win, especially uh, this caliber. Luis Colazo is no, is no walk on the park. This guy's a veteran, he's 31 years old. And um, Victor Ortiz, man, I believe that, that he's a big mouth. He's a big mouth, that's why it happened what it happened. This guy, Luis Colazo knocked him out on the second round. On the second round, why? Because Victor Ortiz, he felt like he was he was he was a big of a deal. He was the best man, and um, he he stopped respecting Luis Colazo on the second round, and he was just going for it. Like he wasn't even timing his punches. He was just going at it viciously, like like the, like his nickname. And uh, he got he got knocked out. He got knocked out seconds before the the the, the bell rang. And why is that? Did that happen? Because this guy wanted to make an a, a impressive comeback. Um, his stupid corner probably didn't do a good job by telling him, hey, keep the pace on going, be smart. You know, um, don't go stupid and go throw punches all over like, like, well, like he did. He got knocked out. He lost that fight. And most likely, he's, he's, he's way back on, on his career now. He's not going to go. He's not going to go. He's not going to do much. He has to probably fight three, four nobody to, to try to come back again. Man, Luis Colazo, man, Luis Colazo, he he, he proved that, that um, he proved hard. He proved that he really wanted it. He was he was he was a smarter man that night. He was fighting out of Brooklyn, his hometown, um, and uh, he even cried. He even cried after the fight. Um, I just I just think he deserved it. He deserved it because um, because uh, <clears throat> um, he really wanted that fight. He was a more more humble guy, and people like that. It's just it feels it, it feels right for them to take that win. If, if they deserved it. And Victor Ortiz, the last all the videos that I've seen about this guy, he just brags about the, how he good he is. Oh, that everybody could just every it could have happened to everybody about getting his jaw broken. Um, that he made names. Uh, he made Maidana the name. He made the name of. of of uh, Jose Cito Lopez, and uh, he was gonna fight Canelo, but then you know stuff happens, and now he's back, and he wanted to get the IBF, the WBO, the WBA, the the all the belts. He wanted to get all the belts on on the on the welterweight division of the 147 pounds. So this guy, I mean, this guy needs he needed something like that to to you know to humble himself out a little bit. You know what I mean? Because um. Like that, he, his ego, his ego, his pride, he was too high. He, he was he was selling something that he's not really, he wasn't really. And uh, in my opinion, I think that Victor Ortiz needs to get a new trainer. He needs to get mental, mental, not mental help, but mental advising about about how dealing with stuff like that. And, and um, you know, just be real, you know what I mean? Because this guy, he, he, was, he, was, he was overrated, he was over the top. Uh, I am kind of a, not. How can I how can I put this up? I really thought that Victor T was gonna win because this guy he, he makes a good show every time he fights, but um, he did it, and that's what happened. He lost. Now he's he's. I believe he's 20, 29 wins, five losses now, and with twenty two KOs. Victor Ortiz's best fights were against Josecito Lopez, which he lost, against against Mayweather which he lost in the fourth round by a cheap shot by Mayweather. And then then it was, uh, he beat Andre Berto and he defeated, he defeated, uh, no, and it was a draw against Lamont Peterson. And with Jose Luis Colazo, his best fights were against Freddy Hernandez, Andre Berto, Sugar Shea Mosley, um, Ricky Haddon, and let me see who else. And Miguel Angel Gonzalez, a veteran too. Now he, he retired already, but you know, he had he had a good good resume too, so um, this guy he, he couldn't take it as a walk in the park, but he did, and that's what happened. He got knocked out. 
All right, guys, tune in. Hey, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. Thumbs it, thumb it. It's all good. Uh, it's your boy, Freddy. See you guys later.